Good morning, YouTube. Dead or Alive here. I've had a couple of questions uh, over the past few weeks about whether or not my kayak cart that I have built for my Catch 120 Pelican would fit on some of my other kayaks. Uh, specifically, I was asked about this one, the uh, Yukon Angler. And uh, I told the, uh, the person that asked the question that I was at work but would be home in a couple of weeks and, and would find out then. So today we're going to try the cart on each one of these kayaks. I, I have uh, access to three different kayaks or three different types of kayaks other than my Pelican. And uh, we have the uh, Perception Striker, the Yukon Angler, and an Ascend FS-12T. And we're going to try the uh, cart on each one of them and see how it fits and if uh, some modification to the cart would be better to, to make it fit even a little bit better. So first off, I stuck the cart up underneath the Perception Striker. And uh, obviously it goes underneath it. But as you can see, or if you can see here, it's kind of dark un under there in, in the light. It fits, but the uh, the dimensions of the cart would need to be widened out some to, to make it sit down all the way into the channels on the bottom of the hull. After, uh, after I try all three of them, I'll turn each kayak over upside down and we'll try the cart for fit on, on the bottom so you can see what it would need there. So here's the cart underneath the uh, Yukon Angler. It, uh, it actually seemed to be a much better fit. I can get around and see up underneath it. The cart would still need to be widened out just a little bit for a, uh, for a more custom fit. Now you can see, by the way, on, on the cart I've added some different wheels than the ones that I originally built it with. I put uh, some no flat tires on there. Not sure if I like them. They're insanely heavy compared to the other ones and I may switch back. The The other ones, if they didn't have any air in them at all, the kayaks aren't heavy enough to flatten the tires out anyway. I just didn't want to run them off the rims. So that's the uh, Yukon Angler. Let's try it on the Ascend, see how it looks. And here's the cart underneath the Ascend FS-12T. This is my brother's kayak. He uses a, uh, a different cart for it. He uses the kind that goes up through the scupper holes, which is probably better for this and actually for the Yukon as well. But uh, I had to build a bunk cart because the Pelican doesn't have pairs of scupper holes. It has a single row of scuppers down the middle. So let's get up underneath and see what this one looks like. Okay, so that's a, a pretty good fit too. You can see uh, how the bunks fit up on the hull. You could either make that wider or narrower. I'd make it wider for the stability, but it would, it would work on this kayak as well. Let's get them turned over and see how they fit. Okay, this is the uh, Ascend FS-12T, and you can see how the, the cart will fit up underneath it, but it could be widened out a little bit or even narrowed to hug that, that keel line a little bit tighter. I'd widen it out some just to, uh, just to make the balance a little more stable on there. Now we'll move it over to the, uh, we'll move it over to the Yukon see how it fits on there okay so on the Yukon angler you can see how the uh, the keel on this boat is much wider than the keel on the ascend was and the bunks actually don't even make it all the way to the to the bottom of the hole there if this thing was uh, if the bunks were about six inches farther apart 
just a little bit wider all along, then uh, this would work perfectly on this kayak. Let's try it over here on the striker and see what it looks like. Okay, on the Perception Striker, you pretty much get the same thing that we got with the uh, wider keel on the Yukon. The bunks don't quite make it to the bottom of the channels in the bottom of the hull here. But on this one, oh, probably two and a half, three inches wider, and they would fit in there perfectly. And uh, this would be a fine fit for this boat as well. So there you go. I hope this answers your questions. I, uh, I, I think the, the part is a good design to fit pretty much any of these kayaks. Uh, you would have to tweak the measurements a little bit. Uh, the two of them need to be, definitely need to be a little bit wider between the bunks. And I'm, I'm not sure if you can make it wider between the bunks without actually widening the wheelbase as well. And that might affect how well it stores inside your uh, front hatch. But, uh, but the cart works. Uh, it, it's an adaptable design and will go for probably most kayaks. I mean, if it'll fit these four kayaks, uh, it, it'll probably fit pretty much any kayak. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one.